So if you've been involved at all with Node projects, then you've probably come across Thor Financial. Although they've only been around for a few months, they've definitely shot up as one of the more sustainable and trustable projects in the Node space, especially after reducing rewards last month for a more long-term sustainable future. They have also been very, very consistently active and working on new things for the project, including a metaverse battle royale type of game, which they just announced yesterday. So in today's video, we will dive into what exactly Thor is, how it works and how to get started if you decide to risk it for the biscuit. Let's jump right in. So we will be going over Thor's own PDF that they created with a breakdown of exactly how the project works. If you guys want to read through this PDF for yourself, you can find it in their Discord server. So how does Thor work? If you're familiar with Stromblock and their model, Thor is basically modeled after the same idea. If you want to create a node, first you must purchase the Thor tokens in order to create that node. Once you create the node, then it pays you daily rewards. Then you can use those rewards to either cash out or to continue to compound them and create more and more nodes. One thing that Thor introduced that Strongblock doesn't yet have is fractional nodes. So instead of having only one entry level like Strongblock, they have four different entry levels with different prices to get in and of course, different daily rewards, depending which one you decide to buy. You have the Heimdall, which is 1.25 Thor in order to create. You have the Freya, which costs 6.25 Thor in order to create. Then you have Thor, which costs 12.5 Thor to create. And then Odin, which is their biggest node, which is 78.125 Thor tokens in order to create. So you can see that the Heimdall pays the least because it is the cheapest entry you get a reward of 0 0.008 per day the Freya pays 0 0.05 per day the Thor pays 0.144 per day and Odin pays 1.02 per day now another thing that you have to consider is that these nodes just like Strongblock, have monthly maintenance fees that you must pay in order to keep your nodes running so the current fee structure is for Heimdall five dollars per month Freya ten dollars per month Thor twenty dollars per month and Odin eighty dollars per month another thing to keep in mind is that once you purchase your node once you create your node the Thor that you spent in order to create your node you can no longer get back that Thor is gone and the only way to get it back is through the daily rewards given to you by your node so once you've created your node it will look something like this you will start to gain daily rewards and you decide whether you want to claim your rewards or you can compound your rewards to create additional nodes so if you decide to compound your rewards there is zero tax on what you use to compound but what is claimed is taxed before it's sent to the metamask now you can only compound within your same category of the node that you created. So if you created a Thor node, you can only compound in Thor nodes. If you created Odin, you could only compound into more Odin. However, if you purchase one of each of the different nodes, you get what's called God mode. And with God mode, then you can compound your nodes and your rewards into any of the different tiers of your choosing. Now, instead of compounding, you decide that you want to claim your rewards and cash out you want to send it to metamask then you do have to pay a tax on those rewards so the different tiers are taxed differently as follows for heimdall you get taxed one percent on your rewards for freya you're taxed five percent on your rewards for thor you're taxed eight percent on your rewards and for odin you're taxed ten percent on your rewards so 60% of the claim tax is used for buybacks and then the rest is sent to the AVAX and Thor liquidity pool. The liquidity pool is used to invest into projects that are voted on by the community to create alternative revenue streams to attempt to stabilize Thor's long-term sustainability. And you can see their treasury wallet right here. So your next question is probably what makes Thor sustainable? And this is probably the most popular question that every single node project is receiving, right? And it's probably also 
the hardest question to answer. Now, before I show you guys what makes Thor sustainable, make sure to smash that subscribe button. If you guys are looking to make money either trading or through crypto passive incomes like Thor, or maybe you just want to stay up to date with the new trends in crypto, I upload a video almost every single day about these topics. So please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto. In addition to that, I answer every single DM that I get on Instagram and I also answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube channel. So leave a comment below if you have any questions. So Thor says that their destiny is to interact with high yield protocols across a number of chains, specifically Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Phantom, and Polygon. This will enable Thor to deliver its holders truly the best yield across a number of DeFi ecosystems. And then they go on to say that their investments can be found in their Discord. So if we pull up their Discord and go to their investments, you can see exactly what they have been investing in here. So of course, the next question is what makes Thor sustainable? So they go on to say that primarily when a node is made, 80% of those tokens are sent immediately to the rewards pool to replenish it. Keep in mind that this includes people who are compounding nodes and not just people who are new to the protocol. In addition to that, you have to also pay the maintenance fee every month and you have to pay taxes if you're claiming your rewards. That is all sent to the treasury where they may be used to replenish the rewards pool at any time. They also bolster the treasury with DeFi investments. The yield that they make from these investments is used to refuel the treasury, which once again can be used to replenish reward pools. They go on to say that they're looking at some new mechanisms, which will be announced at some point in the future. As we know now, some of those new streams of revenue are going to be coming from the metaverse project and play to earn game and also the marketplace that they will be introducing at some point this year. They plan on making nodes into NFTs where you can basically sell and buy NFTs. You can basically trade the nodes. And of course they make a fee every time the nodes are traded. They go on to say that they keep track of the emissions of rewards from the rewards pool and actively monitor it. If changes are necessary to the reward structure, we will employ this giving you ample notice. And we saw that at the end of January when they gave us notice that the reward structure would be changed and they basically cut the rewards in half. I believe that in the long term, that is definitely bullish and more sustainable. So some new stuff that Thor has been implementing is the Thor liquidity pool staking. Users are able to earn around 750% APR by staking their Thor rewards. Similar to Strongblock, they're going to introduce special NFTs with special features and properties that will enable you to basically boost your Thor rewards. They have a section called, why should one consider investing in Thor nodes? I'll let you guys read this on your own because this is super long and this video is already getting long enough. So let's actually just skip through that. You guys can do that on your own. So after hearing all of this, if you decide that you want to risk it for the biscuit, let's talk about how to buy Thor and how to create your first node. So to buy Thor token, it's pretty simple. You can just go right here where it says TraderJoeXYZ.com. This is where I have bought all my Thor tokens. The first thing you need is AVAX. So what I like to do, I buy AVAX on Qcoin. I send my AVAX from Qcoin over to my MetaMask wallet, which is what you need in order to buy Thor. Then I just leave AVAX here. I switch this here to Thor. I insert the amount of Thor that I would like to buy and then and you simply just hit swap. It's that simple. Once you have your Thor, you come over to the Thor.financial and you open up the application. It'll bring you to this page right here. You just have to connect your wallet and you should see the amount of Thor that you have right up here. So you scroll down and you choose which node you would like to create. You simply name your node here and after naming your node, then you simply hit right here where it says create node. If it's your first time creating a node, first you must approve the contract. You just have to pay a little bit in gas fees and then you can create your first node. That's basically it guys. I will do a breakdown on Thor versus Strongblock in the future and maybe do a breakdown of like Thor node versus Odin node, you know, compounding which one you could compound faster to, to 
you know, make more money faster in the long term. So depending when you're watching this video, that one might be ready. If not, it will be coming soon. All that being said, if you guys want to know about these new projects as soon as I get into them when they're still cheap, you must get into my mentorship program. In my mentorship program, I post a new projects that I get into as soon as I get into them. No rug pulls, no Hail Marys. I do all the legwork, I do all the research, and if I feel that they're safe enough for me to put my money in it, I post it in the Discord and give you guys the rundown on exactly what I've found. In addition to that, I share every single trade that I take every single day with my complete trading plan entry, stop loss, take profit, all of it. I teach you guys how to trade the right way using leverage, how to set up your position size properly with the right risk so that you never have to worry about blowing your account again. Now, there are limited spots here because there's so many people that wanna get in, but I can only work with so many at once. So if you guys are interested, go to the link in the description below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity to make life changing money. The way that it's currently set up right now, the easy opportunities to make money right now will not last forever. So please, if you guys are interested, sign up in the link in the description below. If not, I highly recommend that you watch the next two videos that are put up on the screen because those are the next videos that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.